do genetics play a role in gaming? Oftentimes, I would die into a game, and it feels really tilting because I spent so many hours in Kovacs and playing the game. Then I would blame it on genetics because that's the only thing left for me to blame. Now I look at genetics differently after I researched on the topic. Gaming is obviously genetic in some way because there are always kids who grind a game for hours and suck. This is no different from sports or academics. Genetics has an effect on part of success, but not all of it. Genetics in gaming are about 75% of your skill. Now I know people are going to click off with a dislike, commenting that all oh, this is fake, but hear me out. You ever think why Usain Bolt is the fastest? Well, to show how genetically gifted Usain is, if I trained and ate and had the exact life as Usain Bolt, he would still win every time. Now that doesn't mean that hope is lost for everyone who isn't genetically gifted. You would just have to put in more work and find a better training routine. You can certainly get to a high level of gaming when you're putting in the hard work, but to get to the top of the top, only genetics and how you grew up can unlock that. In gaming, it's hard to tell when pros are pros, and that's why we blame it on genetics. You can say Curry is a better player than me because he's taller, but you would likely be right. But if you compared me to a ninja, no one would know who is more genetically gifted when it comes to gaming since there are no physical difference. So that's why the majority of pros are unknown since it's hard to tell if you have good reaction time than it is to tell your height for basketball. But since you want to become a better player, you can be better than the ones who are more genetically gifted but don't know they are since there are no physical signs of good gaming genes. So what part of gaming is genetic and what part of you able to train to beat the pros? Well, training correctly is really the best way to improve because if you don't know what to train, you will be wasting your time. Some gamers are better at different things than other people like game sense, but you might have better aim than them. Improve the thing that's holding you back and your skill will improve exponentially. Now, if genetically gifted players have a good routine as well, of course they will beat you. The reality is, you really can't do anything about it. Think about Messi. Why do so many kids love this guy? Because he's short. Not that short, but shorter than the average soccer player. Why was he so incredible? Because of his routine. He inspired kids that had a chance of being a pro soccer player but your chance of being pro diminishes the less genetically gifted you are in that area. Mentality is a big part of getting past genetics because a player who is focused and has no stress or distraction always play better. Just fix the things that control first. You can always do something better without it involving your genetics. That 30% of skill can always be improved. Gamers who play even two years would say that genetics are holding them back and I would bet the gamer gods who play CS for 20 years would be living evidence that experience and practice beats genetics most of the time. Finally, some players would say luck is the reason they're losing their games and although that might be true for some games, true skill is what will make you consistent. And it's the reason why pro players are so consistent, even bypassing luck. This video was made to give you, the gamer, hope that maybe you are genetically gifted and your practice is holding you back. And to the players who have less than 5 years of experience, you won't be in that plateau of skill forever and it's been proving time and time again that not everything is genetic. But keep in mind that genetics will always have some role.